Our verse today is Acts chapter 15, verse 19. Therefore, my judgment is that we should not trouble those of the Gentiles who turn to God. Yesterday, we looked at the problem that was tearing the church in Antioch apart. They decided to send Paul, Barnabas, and some others to the apostles and elders in Jerusalem to resolve the issue. When Paul and Barnabas got to Jerusalem, the apostles and elders listened to the issue. There was a debate about it. In the end, there was a consensus. It is good that they all agreed they came to a common ground. James seemed to have been the leader of the church in Jerusalem. He gave the verdict of what you may call a communique. He says, my judgment is that we should not trouble those of the Gentiles who turn to God. What did the judgment or resolution mean for the early church? The Jewish Christians wanted the Gentile converts to accept their practice of circumcision. Circumcision was commanded by God in the Old Testament in the covenant with Abraham, and it became a sign of the covenant between God and the people of Israel. Read Genesis chapter 17 verse 7 and Acts chapter 7 verse 8. Already in the book of Deuteronomy, we know that the essence of the law of circumcision was to move the people from the physical circumcision to the circumcision of the hearts. Deuteronomy chapter 10, 12 to 22 especially verse 16. Also read Leviticus chapter 26, verse 41. The prophet Jeremiah re-emphasizes this circumcision of the heart. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 26. There was a purpose God gave them the law of circumcision. It was for them to dedicate their hearts to him. St. Paul will further develop the theme of circumcision of the heart. Read Romans chapter 2, 25 to 29. The early church's decision not to burden the Gentiles or converts with the law of circumcision aligned with the teaching of Jesus about keeping the spirit of the law. So what do we learn from this event? First, like the early church that was open to Gentile converts, we must learn to be open to people of other ethnicities or those who do not share our faith. Second, should people of other faiths want to join ours? In welcoming them, we must realize that they are coming from a different background. They may not do things exactly the way we expect. At the beginning, for instance, the Catholic Church will not rebaptize anyone who has already been validly baptized in particular churches. But at the level of individuals, the narrative challenges us to be open to people of different races, ideas, and cultures, and in families, people to be open to one another. While we are not changing our value system, we should be able to accommodate the views of others, at least listen to them. Do not fight them, but give them the opportunity to also air their views and their opinions. Lord, help us to be open share different views or belong to different ethnicities or races. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a splendid day.